Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Dmule, which is a Dreamcast emulator for your PC. So to start off, you're going to want to go down to the description of this video and open up those two links. The first link will lead you to the Dmule website, where you'll click the latest version here up top and go ahead and download it. Then you can head on over to the next page and you're going to go right here to where it says download and you're going to click right there where it says Dreamcast BIOS and you're going to save that as well. Now that we have the two files that we need, all we have to do is make a new folder on our desktop. You can call it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call mine Dreamcast. And in that new folder we just made, we're going to make another new folder and we're going to name it ROMS, R-O-M-S. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up that first download that we have and we're going to click and drag all the contents from there into this file right here. And then we're going to go over to our second download, which is the Dreamcast BIOS, and we're going to rename it to DC. And we're going to click and drag that and put it in the ROMs folder that we made. Now what you have to do is open up the emulator itself. So go ahead and click the Dmol EXE right here. It says BIOS and plugins aren't configured, but don't worry. We'll get that fixed up. Once you're on this page right here, what you need to do is go to where it says GD ROM. Go down drop down that drop down menu and go to GDR image and then press OK. The last thing you have to do is set up your controller so you're going to go to config and then you're going to go to controls and then click on joy one and right here what you're going to do is bind your keyboard or controller to the keys that would be on a Dreamcast controller so you can click on this left trigger here and hit whichever button on your keyboard or controller you'd like to be the left trigger and then do the same thing for the rest of the buttons on this menu. You can ignore the right column. Then press OK. And before we completely exit out, we're going to want to go down to save state and assign a button for that. I use F1 and load state. I use F3 and for next state, I use F2. And this way you can make it and load save states. Then press OK. If you want, you can also beef up your graphics a little bit. Just keep in mind that this may cause graphical glitches in some games. So if you're experiencing that in a game you're playing, you might want to reverse the process that we just did right here. So you can go to config and then you can go to plugins and paths. You go to video plugin, select the one that says old, press OK, go back to config, then click on video. In here, you can turn up the internal resolution of the console. I like to turn it up to about four. Remember, the higher you go, the more resource intensive it is. You can turn on VSync if you'd like. I'm going to leave that on. You can add a shader pass. I like FXAA, but you know, it's really a preference thing. And the other thing you can do is change the windows resolution, which will make the play window bigger for you. And after you've done whatever you'd like, you can just click OK. And now all you have to do is load a game. And the way you do that is by going to config and then you go down to GD ROM. You hit select and then pick a game from the area that your games are stored on your computer. Press OK, go to file and then run Dreamcast. And now you can play Dreamcast games on your PC. And remember, if your game is graphically glitched, all you have to do is go back to plugins and paths and change your video setting back to the other one. So I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. If it helped, be sure to like and subscribe. I got a bunch of other content on emulation you might find useful as well. Until the next time, you guys have a good one.